What's going on everyone? It's Spartan Warrior 5 again here today to bring you guys my very first uh, official Battlefield 3 commentary. And in today's video, I want to start off by... I don't even know how to say this. Like, I want to make a new series with this game called Battlefield for Dummies. And the reason being, I've been noticing in this game that there are a lot of Call of Duty players, there are... You know, a lot of people who don't know what they're doing, like, it's just, they'll be standing around, just getting kills, and then, you know, that's pretty much about it. They don't use their kits, they don't play the objectives, they just treat this game like Call of Duty, or, you know, they just overall don't know what they're doing, in general. <laughs> wow, that was a really, really stupid hiccup. But, anyway, so, I want to start off this series... Well, bleh, what am I saying? I want to start making this series so that people can, you know, get a better handle of Battlefield, you know, sort of learn some tips from someone who's been playing since, you know, Bad Company, you know. Before I even, like, start going into tips and stuff, I want to say this. I'm not some Battlefield veteran who's been with the series for, you know, the longest of times. You know, um, I first got into Battlefield late in the Bad Company 2. You know, my... Like, the first games I would play in that would be Team Deathmatch. Well, it's just like, you know, it's the same Call of Duty stuff, you know. It, it doesn't really make any difference. Well, I don't even know how to... S you know, I just really can't talk today. Um, I didn't really feel any difference between Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty when I was playing Team Deathmatch. So I decided to switch over to the Rush mode, as you're seeing in today's video. And in pretty much every other video, because Rush is, like my game mode, you know, that's the one that I'm comfortable with, and uh, that's pretty much the game mode I'm going to be covering the most in this series, you know, how to, you know, approach objectives and things like that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way, I'm no Battlefield veteran, you know, I am haven't been with the series for, you know, as long as some other people have, but, you know, I do have some experience. So, here we go. Today's video, I am going to be covering using your kits effectively because in this gameplay, I'm playing the assault kit, but, you know, I'll usually just call it the medic because that's pretty much what it is. Um, you're going to see me using this kit pretty effectively. Um, and in general, it's just like with any kit. Use the things that are special for that kit. For example, with the support kit. I mean, lay down ammunition boxes, because in it, you mean, you get, oh yeah, sitting on the toilet. <sighs> yep. But, uh, as I was saying there, um, lay down some ammo packs, because you're going to get easy points, and your team's going to benefit by getting more ammo. If you're medic class, lay down, you know, medical kits. And, I mean, you're going to get points like crazy. And it, it's just like, the like, special things with the kits help the team overall, you know? Like, if you're a recon kit and you have the spawn beacon, make sure you put it down in a strategic spot, like near an objective or, you know, near their spawn or something, so that people can uh, spawn where they need to be, you know? It's like... Boy, yeah, God, I, I am just, like, really off today. Um, like, if you can have a spawn beacon put, yeah, put down buy an objective so that you can get your teammates there right away where they need to be um, so that you know it's just you guys can maintain an objective or attack an objective you know keep the pressure going um, what other kits of the engineer and basically just help keep the uh, you know friendly armor you know when I say armor I mean vehicles tanks you know humvees jeeps planes whatever Make sure those friendly, you know, armor vehicles are, you know, still inbound, you know, in the battle, maintained, and everything like that. But if you're defending, make sure, you know, you're using your rockets to sort of take out any, you know, jeeps coming in, carrying some infantry, or, you know, take out tanks. But then also, another useful thing with the engineer is the uh, anti-tank mines with the explosive spec because you get more mines and you can just lay them out make like sort of like a perimeter almost like on you know many busy streets that a lot of tanks and humvees go through and again even if you just disable it you're helping the team by maybe another engineer is going to take it out or you know 
it'll slow it down so that it can't get to your other teammates as quickly as, you know, if it was fully operational, you know? So, generally that's about it. And just so you guys know, uh, if you're going to be a medic, press the left arrow key on um, Xbox, on PS3. For all you guys on PC, I have no idea what it is, so I'm sorry. But um, pressing the left key will drop down an ammo crate. Uh, if you're a support kit, that's how you drop down ammo for your team. Uh, if you're an engineer, that's how you use your rockets. And recons, that's how you put down a spawn beacon. So just, you know, general tip if you don't know, that's, you know, where, you know, your things are if you're, you know, for each class. And the other button, the right arrow key, is for using other specs, like for a medic, it's to, um, use the defibrillator to revive your teammates for support, it's for claymores or C4. Recon, I'm not sure, because I haven't really played the recon kit yet. Um, still pretty, uh... Still pretty new with the recon kit because I haven't really used it that much. But uh, engineer, it's for um, repair tool for you know, I think it's called the EOD bots. Um, what else? The um, anti tank mines. So just remember to use your kits because not only are you benefiting your team, you're benefiting yourself. Because I mean, look how many points I'm going to get here by just you know putting down an ammo crate and reviving my teammates. You know, it's like. The more you play your kit by either laying down ammo, putting down suppressive fire, um, you know, putting down ammo, using a spawn beacon, you're going to gain points and you're going to help your teammates out. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Why wouldn't you do it, you know? And it's just a lot of people these days don't use their kits. Like, I'll be running a uh, engineer and I need more ammo. I'll go up to a support guy. He doesn't know what the hell to do, you know? It's like, he'll just be sitting there. Uh, just going like, what are you doing here, dear buddy? Uh, what, what do you want from me? And it's just, it's annoying, you know? It's like, come on, your support kit, you're supposed to be giving out ammo. It's not supposed to be, you know, just about you. It's, you know, this is a team effort. Let's sort of, you know, make sure that, you know, the team is being, you know, how should you say, is taken care of, you know? So, that's generally it. And plus, if you want to rank up fast... Use the assault or the support kit because once you spawn in, you can just throw down a medical kit or ammo crate, and then usually you'll automatically start getting points. And those points translate into higher levels, so you might want to take advantage of that. That's how I've been leveling up so quickly. I got this game pretty late. Well, yeah, kind of a bit late. So I've been, you know, mainly sticking with the uh, support class and the. Uh, assault class just to get ranked up quicker and it's been uh, proven to be pretty effective for ranking up fast but um, other than that actually like using the kit via you know the guns and you know other strategy with that with the medic you want to sort of be in the action like not all the way up close and personal but you know still up close enough so you can make a contrib like a contribution, but far enough back so that you can, you know, play your role as in laying down medical support and, you know, making sure people are revived when they need to be. Because don't go around and just Rambo revive people if there's, like, a huge gunfight happening. You don't revive the person in the middle of the gunfight, you know, that's just annoying. Now, what I would usually do is if there's someone, like... In, like dead in a, like a spot that's not really under fire. Yeah, I'll revive him then. That's what I've been doing in this gameplay. But um, a lot of people just revive people randomly, and usually it's in a bad spot, and people just don't like that. You know, if you're support class, you usually want to be like sort of further back than the medic, um, because usually the support class just lays down suppressive fire with the light machine gun. You know, just, you know, spraying down your gun usually does help in this game because of the suppressive fire uh, feature that this game offers. And plus, again, you do get points for laying down suppressive fire, so you might as well just spray your gun near the enemy and, you know, hopefully it'll get suppressed enough so that... Oh, I hate this, by the way. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. But uh, anyways, with the suppress support class, you can lay down suppressive fire, keep the enemy back, and sort of, you know, help your team out that way. 
and also the recon. Usually the recon is the person who wants to stay the furthest back, but uh, you really should sort of be near the support class, you know, in terms of like range, sort of, you know, like how far away from the battle you are. You want to be sort of near the support guys and spotting people. I mean, the sniper isn't someone who should be, you know, up close and personal, quick scoping, 360 no scoping, grizz status, you know, it's like that's not how the sniper works. And also, the engineer is supposed to be the guy who's like up in the front lines with the SMG. Because, you know, the SMG is really supposed to be like a close quarters combat weapon, so engineers are usually in the front lines, you know, planting bombs, defusing charges, you know, doing all that other stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this has helped with some people in using their class. As you can see here, I got a lot of ribbons and basically just a lot of points. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, and have a great day.